It's nice when you get those opportunities to be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, You're going through the same uh, thing too? You, you do that too? Yeah. You okay. both communicate that way? Yeah. Okay, how do you deal with that? And often that kind of brings out a theme and like, okay, well, how can we pray about that specifically for everybody? Like, yeah, so it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we were kind of prompted to get into a small group by, it wasn't really that planned. We kind of, uh, we'd, we'd gone across for a long time, but we never sort of took that next level as far as mm -hmm. um, being maybe more engaged in, the, in uh, church and, and coming more than just coming on Sunday and leaving. Uh, so we decided to go to a sort of a connecting event they had. Um, so we didn't have an intention of joining a small group, but uh, it just sort of happened. We had yeah. met some people and, and we talked about it there and then, uh, and then got invited and uh, we're thrilled we did. And, and for me specifically, <clears throat> having a home group is important for uh, consistency. So having just that, you know, we do really make it a priority and we really, we enjoy, we look forward to going to it on Friday nights. Um, so that part's nice just to have it, it's blocked off, it's a regular kind of rhythm and, and people that you get to know and uh, connect in a community. Mm -hmm. I think for me, I think, you know, I read the Bible and I take my time doing my devotions and I get my very own ideas of what I can glean from it, but getting together as a small group, you get to see other people's perspectives on the same readings that you've been doing, and it's really interesting to kind of broaden your understanding of God's Word, and it just takes it to the next level, which I so love and appreciate, because if you just get it from your own eyes, sometimes you miss a lot of important things, so yeah, that's in yeah. my spiritual life. You see five people read the same thing and, and think five different things. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool, yeah, it's really cool, yeah. We'd share a story, and, and we had shared one and, um, of, an, of an argument we're having and a bit of a disagreement, and so we, had, we brought it up at small group, and then, you know, you can just see there a couple, like, look at each other and do the whole, like, <laughs> we've done that too thing, so oh, that yeah. was, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but it happened, so it was good just to know kind of that's a normal and, and to go through, so it was, uh, there aren't a lot of other maybe areas in our life where we're comfortable to bring things like that up um, and to share it, and then to have other people that are like, you know what, we've done that too, we've gone through that as well. Um, you know, kind of to be, have, have the group grow and multiply is important because, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people that felt like us where it was, we'd like to get involved, but, and, and there's a lot of excuses and maybe there's looking for that, uh, that kind of next opportunity or for somebody to invite them. You know, mm -hmm. for us really all it was is mm -hmm. to have somebody invite us and it was like, yeah, actually, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. We'd really enjoy, we'd enjoy that. Um, yeah. So if we can be that for someone else, uh, just because they know that we really appreciate it. So it's kind of a, and I think everyone in our group, uh, feels the same way that it's nice to be able to invite new people that are looking for, for somewhere, maybe if you moved here or whatever it is. Um, well, so. And even as families, it's like your lives are busy. It's hard to kind of go always and looking for these opportunities. So sometimes when it's presented to you or somebody's knowing that that's what you're looking for in a conversation, it's nice to be able to grow the group too.